Sam, the order's been posted. Take a look at the delivery terminal. An hourglass. Chiral artist. is extremely fragile and that kind of cargo is best carried by hand Well, this sucks. This item only allows me to carry it by hand. I can't put it on my back. What is it? It's an hourglass. It's a little, little hourglass. Hyper fragile. Oh, and it's a delivery item. And I have to take it across like craggy lava rock areas. Yes, go slow. That's a little something from the junk dealer. Sam, that active skeleton is built for speed. It's designed to augment muscle movement, enabling you to travel faster. There's even a boost function if you really need to hustle, but it'll eat up battery about as fast as you eat up the ground. To think he made a thing like that out of junk, talent like his shouldn't go to waste. That seems the best. We'll see. Weapons restrictions lifted. I was gonna say, the only thing I really hope that doesn't happen is that it rains. And then of course the first thing it does is fucking rain.
I don't see it so it's far enough off that it's not a threat. I don't want to try the speed skeleton. Not right now. Definitely not in BT territory. Are you kidding? Someone's got cold feet. That's fine. You know, honestly, the most stressful part for me is the fact that um, uh, I have no fabricator nearby me at all, and most of my stuff is falling apart. Build a timefall shelter? I don't have materials. Plus, timefall doesn't protect my gear. Oh, I'm, uh, uh, the, the repair spray, I mean. It doesn't protect my, uh, my tools. We're doing okay, though. I'm not looking forward to making a return trip with a human. Nice. Who knows how the hell that's gonna go.
Maybe if I can put her into like a container that's just... Just tell her to curl up and I'll put her in a large container. Throw her on my back. Looks like a small girl. She could probably fit in one of those big old containers. look. Oh, incredible. Not so much as a single scratch. I can't thank you enough. Hey, two and a half stars, not bad. So, I'm on the one and only Chiral Network now. That's wonderful. I'm happy to be a part of the UCA. Awesome. Fabricator, good. So I'm gonna recycle a bunch of my junk and make new ones. BT handgun? Well, shit, all right. You'll drop by again, won't you? Take me with you. Please. I have to see him again. I made this for him, you know. When the terrorist attacked, my mother and I barely escaped with our lives. I tried to find him afterwards. I did. I just didn't know where to look. But that's not why I stopped. My mother never liked him. She made that pretty clear. But I didn't think she'd go as far as to lie. So when she said that he died, 
I believed her. And you heard that message. It's him. It's really him. I should never have given up. Deep down, I knew he was out there somewhere. But I couldn't leave my mother all around. So I tried to make my peace with it. <sighs> Only I couldn't. Not even if I do wanted to. I was stuck in the past. Unable to move on. Take me to him. I'm begging you. I'm ready to go. Right now, if you want. Just say you'll take me. How the hell am I gonna transport a person? A, a, yeah, a giant BB? Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, recycle. So, PCC level 2 is destroyed. Bola gun is 81% recycle. Bola gun is 82% recycle. I'm going to keep the Hemetic Grenade, it's only at 60 yet. My boots are okay. What about my foot boots? My foot boots are okay. My skeleton's fine, but I'm going to have to make a new one soon. Alright, so I need... I need a Bola Gun and a P... I don't really need a PCC, let's be honest. I never really use them. Alright, fabricate. That there's a handgun configured to fire hermetic rounds. Bullets loaded with your own blood. Should do some damage to any BTs you come across. The gun draws blood from your body, or any bags on hand, to fill its cartridges when in use. Length of the trigger pull determines the amount loaded into the next round. Longer pulls mean more blood and more potential damage to the BT on the receiving end. Just don't drain yourself dry by accident, okay? Well, that's interesting. Um, I don't really need a PCC. I don't need a new ant new skeleton yet. I think instead of carrying two bola guns, I need to carry a bola and a BT. Uh, well, you know what? I don't. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Um. Bola gun on tool rack, BT on back. All right, hold on. Thank you. Actually, the BT gun should be on the tool rack. Thank you for your contribution. So I'm going through BT territory. There's no reason to have the bola gun on my back. Gotcha. Okay. That's fine. Take on a delivery. Take 45 kilograms human delivery. So is it actually a... It's not a container. 
but it is 45 kilograms. Oh God, how the hell does this work? Okay, hold on. Human trafficking, okay. Let's let's make a level two P Okay. <laughs> let's make a level two PCC just in case. As you know, you'll be transporting a living human being for a change. It goes without saying that any falls or heavy impacts sustained may result in injury to your client. So proceed with caution, now more than ever. Okay. Oh, I have to carry them in my arms! Oh no! Ugh. Do you already have the hourglass too? Carry on back. Backpack carpet limo limit exceeded. Excess will be offloaded. Okay. Okay, okay. Hold on. So I can carry her on my back, but I can't carry a lot on my back. So I've got a bola gun, I've got the BT gun, I've got a ladder, one ladder, one climbing anchor. God, I wish I could carry one more ladder. Hold the hourglass. I don't want it to break. Order assigned. Wait a second. I'm dumb. Oh, I don't have the carry thing. Never mind, I'm not dumb. Okay. Bro, cover your face! What the fuck? I think my best course is going to be
probably here and then here here okay see you later baka thanks for hanging out Not far from here, I think. Look for the tar. Wait, bubbles up in the spread. I know where the dude is. It'll slow you up if you're ready. It's bottom. Our soul claimed the folks who use these places to dispose of terrarium contaminated waste. And bodies too. If you don't have time to bond them, there's always the tar. Oh. I'm Sam. I hear you loud and clear. I like that. I'm Sam too. I'm so dumb. Keep on keeping on. Of course, they play a song right in the stressful mission. Could you guys like not do that? That would be great. I don't know why I didn't think that this is was going to be how I transport a human. It's how I transported my uh, my dead mother earlier. So it just makes sense. I wasn't thinking. I'm hoping that unzipped face is not a problem.
Okay, that wasn't so bad. Look, bro, you want to actually... T there we go. Yes, Eternal. Absolutely. Fixing it, getting 
getting the sand flowing again. But it felt too much like moving on. Like forgetting you. Well, now we can both move on. Together, you and me. If you're ready. Of course. <laughs> the man I knew. Did a pedal junk. He fixed the things. Made them like new again. Picking up the pieces and making the most of them. That's what I do best too. But this is one piece we don't need. <laughs> the only time that matters is the time I spend with you. So let's count some moments ourselves together. I'm asking you to marry me, dummy. I will. I do. Yes. <laughs> Don't hate mom, please. Tell her this is what we want. Help her to understand and accept it. Because she needs us and I need her. All right. I'm pretty good at patching things up. <laughs> 45 likes for delivering your girlfriend come on buddy Better join the chiral network now. Sorry, I was such an asshole. I treated you and Fragile like shit. I'm gonna try and make a fresh start with my girl. And though I can't do half of what you people do out there every day, I'm ready to pull my weight. If you need anything fixed, I'm your man. The UCA can count on me. It'll take some getting used to, but it's past time. We will join the UCA's network. I won't let you down, I swear. I'll never forget you. Thank you. <laughs> That's so stupid. I never forget you. Bam! Two hundred likes. <laughs> so stupid. Ugh. Why does he not shake hands? Bro, COVID. You're not supposed to shake hands with people. A stun bomb.
Sam, that whole region is connected to the Cairo network now. Head for the next area. To connect South Knot City, you'll need to make a delivery from Lake Knot City. Huh? Not sure I follow. Why not just get them on the network, let them print what they need? Because you can't print everything. You do know that, right? Food, medicine, organic compounds, that blood of yours that's proven so effective against BTs? None of that can be sent via the network, only the old-fashioned way. The people of South Knot have been struggling ever since the last attack. Now, if they're to survive, they'll need all the supplies Lake Knot can spare. Head back there and pick up the order. By the way, sometimes you might find yourself traveling home empty-handed, right? Wasted trip, I say. Make the most out of it by making sure you've always got an order on your back. For instance, one just came in from the junk dealer. A joint request from him and the Cairo artist, looks like. I think it'd be in everyone's best interest if you took it on. Check the terminal for details. Heads up, Sam. I'm detecting abnormal Cairo levels to the north of South Knot City. The numbers indicate heavy time fall in the area. It appears to be some kind of storm, but nothing like anything I've ever seen before. Though, truth be told, I can't actually see it either. The storm should be right outside my lab, but with the baby, I'm in no position to investigate. Doesn't seem to have done any real damage yet, but would you mind looking into it for me? Just be sure to keep your distance, all right? How long do I have to carry the baby? Probably the whole game. The baby is not a, a, a product that I'm trying to deliver. The baby is a tool that I'm utilizing. Yeah, you know the little thing on my back that does, like, this thing and points at BTs? That thing is powered by the baby. It's a symbiotic relationship? Yeah. Yeah. He helps protect me from BTs. Although, Sam Sam has the innate ability to kind of detect BTs on his own, but he can't interact with the this. Um... You can use those little darlings to stun your enemies and give yourself some breathing room. Just equip and toss. They'll trigger on contact. They deliver a shock that should incapacitate every living thing within the blast radius. Living only, though. They won't do you any good against VTs. And I guess it's not really a symbiotic relationship. It's more of a... Um... I mean, I guess it's kind of symbiotic because... They're still, they're, um, they're not stillborn, they're premature babies. Stillborn, they're dead. <laughs> so they're not stillborn. They're premature babies that most likely would have died outside of the mother's womb anyway. So we put them in an artificial womb. Aren't we dying or something? Like yeah, the, the, the... the moms are on the beach. Right. So they're they're like halfway between life and death anyway. Yeah. So the baby would have died. And it's it's, it's... it's a That's why they call them BTs. It's, it's... Or BBs. It's beach baby. Which is why they have the power. Which is why they have the power to detect beach things. BTs.
All right, I want... So what does the speed skeleton do? The speed skeleton... All it really does is make me fast, but it doesn't increase my carry speed, I'm guessing. So it's probably... It probably reduces my speed, actually. Let's make a power skeleton level 3. Because mine is about to break, I think. 16... Hey! Nice percentage there! Um... What's the orders? Deliver to South Lake City. Oh, I have to go through an enormous mule area. Jesus. What is that? One medium and one large package. What else is there? Craftsman. Distribution center. Wait, where's the other one going? Oh, it's going to the distribution center. Sorry, I misunderstood. Well, it would be dumb not to take this one. Once One medium and seven small packages. That's a lot. All right. Bot delivery. Post delivery damage estimated 78%. So that means they estimate it will take 78% damage, not that it'll get there with 78% left over, right? Or is that... Or is that how much life they expect it to have when it gets there? 78% life. I don't know. Well, shit, let's try it and see what happens. No, it's damage. Okay. So when it gets there, they actually expect this to be at 22%. When it says condition no less than 50%. Deliver to a mountainous area. Okay. Okay. So this is how many containers? I don't know, it doesn't say. But it says it should make it there with 70% health, so... Or no, it should make it there with 30% health. But he doesn't care about damage levels. He wants more than... he wants one package. That's fine. That should be okay. Deploying autonomous delivery bot. Thank you for your contribution. All right, so I don't need I don't need to make anything yet. I want to take the order to the distribution center. I want to make another bola gun.
What is the percentage on that little guy? Oh, 32. He's fine. Okay. I also want a container spray. Okay, let's do that. Come by again soon. Weapons restrictions lifted. Oh, someone was scared of coming down that hill. Huh. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of fast travel, generally speaking. Like, I'll do it in certain situations, but most of the time I'm just like, eh.
Am I locked on the ladders? Uh, not locked, but snapped. So, you are, as you approach the ladder, that you're going to cross a gap like that, it tries to snap you to the correct alignment. But if you, if you press left or right, you'll just walk off. But if, you're, if it snaps you initially and you press W, it will take you basically straight over. But you still have to manage, like, your, your, your balance and weight and stuff. I was going to say, is that place just cleared out? No, they're just not concerned with me at the moment. Yeah, I've, I've experienced that. How many times have I tested that? Once. Do not recommend. I fell a pretty far distance. I would have died if I did not have... Uh, if I didn't have blood bags in my pocket. That is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to like, and he ended up shouting at the mules. Not, uh, not a good idea. Yeah, I haven't really been overly concerned with speed in the game. I actually enjoy that, that parts of it take a little while. So... Fast legs is not really a... Like a, oh my god, yes! Does this skeleton flatter my figure? I know, right? Does this make my my ass look fat? Yeah. <laughs> Cappy, yes. Oh yeah, fast legs are probably better for time deliveries. So what's up, Rector? Bonk. Keep on keeping on. Decontaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Keep on keeping on. Did. Hope your cargo held up as well as you. Looking good. Looking good. Guess you were the right man for the job. Backpack customization. With like color and stuff? Yeah. Backpack can now be olive, navy, wolf gray, black, orange, red, green, and purple. 
Level three here too. Nice. That wouldn't have been me, would it? <laughs> that you saw do that? There's a song called Beach Baby? Also, you're welcome, Mom. Anything to make you more annoyed at me. That is my goal in life. straight away and got it added to the list of supplies that can be fabricated. They had good things to say about the pouch, too. Contract has already been made, and you'll find the pouch in your private room. If you want to customize your backpack, you'll need to drop by one anyway. Anyway, I hope you appreciate what those two did for you, and give this new gear a try. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. <laughs> Sam, we've received some cargo you entrusted to another porter. Assuming you didn't just lose it. You can collect it from the share locker if you like. stuff need to get delivered here? Film director, William, the elder, the elder. I can actually fabricate my own truck. Okay. Your work is greatly color scheme. I kind of like navy. Navy looks good. Oh. 
Dude, awesome. A grenade pouch or an extra battery. I think I'd rather have the grenade pouch. Oh, can I have multiple? Oh, sick. Okay, 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 okay. I guess I can have, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, one, two. I guess I can have 20 total. I have a bunch of grenade pouches. Excellent. And the grenade pouches change color too? They do. What happened to olive? They said there was an olive color. They lied to me. Okay. Oh man, okay. There's a prepper out there with a special talent called a cosplayer. Hmm. Recovery request. Retrieve, retrieve my chip from mules. From Jay. Okay, I definitely want to do that one because that's, that's a Cyberpunk 2077 stuff. Alright, check this out, Cap. I can change the color. I went with navy for now. But I also put, it has grenade pouches on it now. So instead of carrying them on my back, I stick them on a backpack. 